Good evening, everyone. I'm Craig. And I'm Mel. And you're with Love and Diz World. And tonight, got something really exciting. We have mm -hmm. dining reservations at Whispering Canyon at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Uh, Wilderness Lodge is one of my personal favorite resorts just because everything is just so grand and so picturesque. Everywhere you look, there's something neat to see. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can tell by the outdoors behind us, it is absolutely beautiful. Also, the lobby. You cannot beat the lobby of this resort. What's really nice about Whispering Canyon is the restaurant actually sits right off the lobby. So I'm going to try to make sure I get plenty of pictures, plenty of video, and show you what this whole area is like. Now for me personally, uh, what I'm excited to see is what's different tonight as opposed to other nights at Whispering Canyon. Now this is a, a restaurant that we've eaten at before, uh, but we have not been at since the reopening and everything with COVID. Uh, so I don't know if uh, the antics of the servers are going to be the same as what they were, mm -hmm. if they're going to be uh, toned down a little bit since uh, attendance is lower. I don't know. We'll have to uh, go in and try everything out and see, see how it goes. I'm excited. So see you inside. So I know this isn't quite a resort tour, um, but while we're waiting for dinner, I figured I would walk around and get some, some shots here of this amazing lobby. And it really is truly amazing. Everywhere you look, there's something new to see. I uh, actually had a chance to talk to the hostess at uh, Whispering Canyon where we're having dinner. And she told me to make sure to look at these actual wooden logs. Um, there's something I never knew. At the top, there's animals that are carved. And as you walk around this wooden carvings, it's actually the rankings of which these animals are on the food chain. So the higher they are on the logs, the higher they are on the food chain. This was something really interesting that I didn't even know. So as you can see, we have a buffalo, we have a, I think it's an elk. At the top there's a hawk, and I believe also a wolf. Um, also told me some fun facts about this resort is that when you come in, they have a hidden Mickey guide, as there's numerous hidden Mickeys uh, throughout. So you can stop at the front desk and pick one of those up and have a chance to go searching for your own hidden Mickey. In addition, they also have a fact guide sheet that they would be happy to give you that gives you some information and some tidbits on the resort. So we just got seated here at Whispering Canyon. Um, just judging by the atmosphere and some of the other tables, it seems like the servers uh, are still doing their same old tricks. Uh, so don't worry about that. Don't let that dissuade you from not coming here. Uh, it's still gonna be a fun, exciting experience. Uh, we were able to get the skillet, which is kind of their calling card. So we're pretty excited to get that and have that brought out to us. And then uh, for our son, we went with a cheeseburger um, with some fries and some chocolate chip cookie. He got his chocolate milk, so he's happy and good to go. We have our drinks, so we can't wait for our food. So as a starter to the meal, uh, you get this basket of cornbread with looks like some kind of a honey butter uh, as well. In addition, you get a little bowl of a coleslaw. Uh, so we'll give these a try and see what they taste like. So let's try this cornbread. Mm. It's so buttery tasting and sweet. I absolutely love their cornbread here. 
And I always joke with Craig that if we could come here and I could just eat cornbread the whole night, I think it's just so tasty. And the butter is really good. I think it has some honey on it, so an extra sweet taste there. Um, but definitely a good choice. So Mel left me one piece of cornbread to try, but we'll, we'll see what it's like. I mean, there's nothing more that I can say than what she said. This is it's phenomenal cornbread, and that butter does really give it that extra bit of flavor. It's very sweet, very moist. Um, the butter itself has a great taste of honey to it. Uh, it's absolutely phenomenal. So let's try the coleslaw. Mm -hmm. Very crunchy. Um, it's not as juicy as you might have with some other coleslaws. I will say it has a little bit of a pepper kick to it, um, but I don't think it's too strong. It's a pretty good coleslaw, but if I had to choose, I would pick my cornbread. So there's Connor's cheeseburger skillet. Hold on, baby. And there is our skillet. Now, these skillets are all you care to enjoy. So as we work our way through this, if we find that maybe we want more corn or maybe we want more chicken, all we have to do is ask them and they'll bring just those items out. Or if we want a whole nother skillet, they will bring in a whole nother skillet. So once again, this is all you care to enjoy and we're about to enjoy it. Let's try these green beans. Mm. They're very buttery flavored and very good. I'm trying the pulled pork first. That's really good. I really enjoy their pulled pork here. And I'll give some other stuff a shot and get back to you. So round two, we're gonna give the chicken a try. So you can see the skin is very flavored. I think the flavoring on the chicken is actually better than the pork. And my favorite, the mashed potatoes. Mm. Mm, they're garlicky and buttery and has some chunks in there. So, so far the green beans, the pork, the chicken, and the mashed potatoes are all very good and I'm going to keep eating them. So I'm going to try the corn see what that's like. Corn is really good, has a really good butter taste to it, um, which is makes the corn really tasty. Uh, really a big fan of the corn. I'm gonna try the pulled pork that uh, Mel just tried. It's a really good flavor to it. What I like about it is it's smoked, so it, the smoky flavor really comes through. Um, my only critique is I wish it would have some kind of a sauce, like more like a barbecue sauce in it, so it wasn't as dry. I think that would kind of put it over the edge. It's still very good, very flavorful, but just a little dry for my liking. So sausage, I believe it is in the skillet. When Craig and I get the skillet, typically we just leave that in there and don't eat it. So I thought I would give it a shot today because I don't think we've actually tried it. So maybe. It is pretty flavorful. The skin on it's a little crunchy, um, but it's not bad. And you know, when I got some more pulled pork, and I would agree with Craig, both he and I like barbecue sauce, and it's a dry pork. Um, it still is very flavorful, but he and I just prefer to have barbecue sauce on our pork. But um, I'm still eating through that and continue to eat the mashed potatoes. So again, very yummy mashed potatoes. So another item in the skillet is the beef brisket. So we're gonna give that a try. Now that is extremely flavorful. It's not, um, it's not dry at all. It's very tender. Um, you can definitely taste the mustard in it because it's uh, a mustard-based beef brisket. Very tasty, very tender. Uh, goes down really easy. So that would definitely be a winner among the skillet. No Western style meal would be uh, complete without using your hands to eat. So another item in the skillet is the uh, ribs. So we're gonna give the ribs a try.
Um, very flavorful, very smoked. There's a good taste to it. Just a little messy, but what ribs aren't. But uh, we're gonna tackle this. It's really good, very smoked. I would definitely recommend this if you like ribs. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so for dessert, we got the uh, chocolate cake, which is a uh, chocolate cake with a molten icing. Uh, it comes in a little uh, pot. So the presentation is really nice. So let's see how it tastes. Very chocolatey. The cake is really light and fluffy. And the chocolate itself is warm. So together, it is chocolatey goodness. This is really good. Um, as Mel said, the cake is very light and fluffy. But it's very, very rich in chocolate. Um, really an easy cake to eat. Uh, really good taste to it. I like the molten sauce on top. It gives it a little bit of flavor. Now what would be really good is if it had a nice little scoop of vanilla bean ice cream on the side. That would be amazing, but this is a good cake. So right outside the lobby is this little uh, seating area that I actually didn't recall seeing before, but literally as soon as you come out of the lobby, there's almost like a back deck atmosphere where you can overlook the grounds. They have this beautiful um, little waterway running from inside the resort, uh, which I have some pictures and you'll see, uh, that goes from the resort out and actually part of the pool. Uh, it's really, as you can tell, beautiful very peaceful if you've just had that big meal and you just need to sit and relax on a rocking chair this would be the place to do it nothing better than spending an evening out here just in nature and it's so nice because you're still at disney you're maybe a seven minute boat ride from the magic kingdom but yet you just feel so withdrawn from everything else absolutely stunning resort so the water that you're looking at right now actually starts in the lobby and flows out underneath a little bridge that they have in the lobby and comes out and comes down as a part of this beautiful waterfall. And that same waterfall then trickles down and right into the pool. And here they actually have a geyser which just kind of erupted a little bit. Uh, now, I don't remember what the exact timing is, but this geyser goes off sporadically throughout the day, and we are just fortunate enough to catch a small eruption of this geyser going off. So I'll let you enjoy it. I'm sorry if it's a little loud. So we just wrapped up dinner at Whispering Canyons. Uh, I thought it was a good, but not spectacular meal. Mm -hmm. um, we both had the skillet, and for me, I thought there were certain items of the skillet that kind of stood out while some kind of paled in comparison. For, for me, I thought the corn was really good. Uh, the brisket had a really good flavor to it. I thought the ribs were pretty good. However, I, I didn't care for the pulled pork as much. While it had a nice smoky taste to it, I thought it was incredibly dry. Mm -hmm. And I know we've had that quite a few times and I just don't recall it being that dry. Uh, for me also, the cornbread to start the meal was definitely a winner with that butter. Uh, you can't beat that. And then we tried dessert for probably the first time ever, or one of the first time ever, and we had to got the chocolate cake. And the chocolate cake was very tasty, it was very ooey gooey, uh, very easy to eat, and it was a good way to end the meal. Uh, I know we talked prior to the start of the meal about the antics of the waitresses and waiters, and for me, I thought they were very toned down. Mm -hmm. uh, I know our waitress, while she was very good, she was not really the engaging character that Whispering Canyon is known for. 
Uh, there was another waitress there that seemed to be really interacting with uh, the, her table. So it could be hit or miss, you know, or it might just be one of those things where since we had a little one with, uh, she kind of toned it down for us. I'm not exactly sure, but for me, I think it was good, just not spectacular. Mel, what about you? Well, I am full. <laughs> I ate a lot of food and um, I agree with the pork. It, I think the first couple bites that I had, I must have had some barbecue sauce on the top, but after that it was pretty dry and I actually had some burnt ends which weren't too tasty and it was kind of hard to eat because they were so dry. Um, I think we ate different parts of the skillet because all the things you mentioned besides the pork, I did not try, so I can't speak to those ones. Um, I had the green beans and the mashed potatoes, both of which were very tasty sides. And then I had the chicken as well and I thought that that was pretty tasty. So um, I think we had a little bit of everything. We had some good, we had some not so great, um, but I thought the dessert was really tasty as well. But of course my favorite was the cornbread and I think that's why I'm so full because I think I had too many pieces of cornbread. Um, <laughs> But overall, it was a pretty good meal. Um, I think we would come here again. We've been here a few times, um, but the food pretty consistent. I don't think it was any different than what we had experienced another, any other time. Yeah, absolutely spot on. So anyway, I think that about wraps it up. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button or please subscribe to our channel. We greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to join us next time when we show you why we're loving this world. Night, everyone. Hey guys, we are loving this world. What do you have to loving say? This world.